Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I thought today what we would do is do a um, get ready with me um, vlog, I guess you would call it. Um, anyway, so we're going to start off in the bathroom, of course, um, and I'm going to kind of curl my hair and then going to go to the other room and do my makeup. Um, and yeah, and then y'all can just follow me, follow me around and watch me do my thing. Um, okay, so right now what I'm doing is heating up my, um, what do you call it, curling iron. Then I'm going to start curling. Um, today is fibromyalgia awareness day and I thought I heard, I thought I heard the camera click off so that's what I was looking for. I'm hoping this is going to turn out right. Um, but anyway, um, so today's fibromyalgia awareness day and I thought what better way than to do something to like take care of myself and make myself feel better. Um, so first I'm going to spray my hair down with some old sheen. Um, the old sheen I use is, I don't know if you can, how would I do this? <laughs> um, Cantu Shea, but Shea Butter Oil Sheen Spray. So I think you can see that. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so I'm going to spray it down with that. Get some moisture going. Uh, sometimes I get too excited with using it and I'll put too much on it. Um, and it'll be too, I don't know. It won't be, it won't turn out exactly like I want if I put too much on it. Um, anyway, I really love this stuff. Um, it gives gives my hair a nice sheen. And what the other thing I noticed is that uh, because of the pandemic right now, um, I'm not able to get my relaxer done. So using this oil sheen, it seems like it's taking it where I can where I can. Um, still work through my hair because I have like a lot of new growth um but it's usually the way it turns out is I can't I can't comb through my hair at all when I get too much new growth in um or maybe maybe just all this time I didn't know hey maybe put a little bit more moisturizer on it who knows um but hey live and learn Anyway, uh, there's a little one, little thingy that's decided to stick itself out. Um, I'm not going to do like too big of a curl with it, but yeah, let's try not to burn myself. When I'm just kind of doing a straightening it out a little bit. Um, I would do closer to my scalp but I'm sweating so it's like uh, never mind. I don't know if it's like medication or or what that makes it where well anyway um so I'm just gonna curl kind of the ends under something really quick and then move on to the makeup side of things um, yeah and then kind of press out my roots some with this sorry for the cord dragging noise but Hey, it is what it is, you know. Oh, goodness me. Uh. Anyway, now I'm going to put some lipstick on. The lipstick that I like to use, favorite lipstick of all, is MAC by MAC. And it's Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. Um, let's do a, a close-up so you can see kind of the... Whoops, where is it? Anyway, it's 
it's called Ruby Woo. I'm not sure if it's going to focus all the way or not. But if I can remember, I'll, um, anyway, I'll, I'll post it up. I'll write it up so you'll know how it's spelt and everything. But here it goes. This is normally what I use. I just use the, um, so you can see it's like really, really red. Um, this is normally the only thing I'll use because, you know, just not having the energy to put on more makeup. Um, and then I feel like, you know, makeup is one of those things that, that if you can find a really good lipstick, um, I know some people will do lipstick and mascara or something like that. What I'm going to try to do today, I bought this um, uh, eyeshadow kit. I'm sorry, this this is just kind of <laughs> going every which way um, with the hair because of the sweat. Let's make it look like a rooster. How about, how about like a little rooster? No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I kind of like that. Hmm. And then that way it kind of... Um, be right back. Yeah, I'm just going to clip it up a little bit. So that way it can... Kind of be out of my face some. Until I stop sweating. I kind of like that style though. Hmm. Who knew? <laughs> then I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of my hair up too because, like I said, I'm a little on the warm side at the moment. And then I'm going to turn this fan on. Oops. <laughs> That's not. Let me try this. Okay. Oh my goodness me. Goodness gracious. I found this on QVC. Um, it's Urban Decay. It's a palette of a variety of colors, and you know those really like bright, bright blues that we're seeing. Anyway, this palette has it in there, so I thought I would give it a try. Um, and plus, I was able to use my Easy Pays or or do the Easy Payment plan, um, which everybody can do as long as you have a debit or credit card. You can do an Easy Payment plan where they'll split up your payments. Um, this was about fifty dollars, fifty-five dollars, and I think I have it split up for six payments. Um, but I thought I'd just see if I like it first. Um, and it came with a primer also. So that... Mm -hmm. Oh, and let me show you my nails. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Um, or if it's too bright. You might... You might can see it. Um, I just did my nails yesterday. I used this new Espressi Etsy. And it only takes like a couple of minutes to dry. Um, and it lasts a long time. The color that this is, let's see, it is, well, it just says quick dry, air dry, number 340, Sechage Rapide, maybe? Oh, that's Spanish. Ha, huh? Rapide. Rapide, um, Spanish. Okay. Anyway, 
It's number 340. I guess it doesn't have a name, maybe. It's like a little, like a bluish color. And then I also bought this um, gel top coat, coat by Etsy as well. Um, I put it on there yesterday. I did two coats of this one. Um, and then I did, let's see, how to hold it so that I can also do a, um, whatchamacallit shot, um, thumbnail shot, there we go. Um. is the primer my urban decay eyeshadow primer that I'm gonna put on first I've never put on primer before to be honest um, but I thought well let's give it a try because like I said uh, we are gonna be wearing masks more so now I have to use this Okay, good. It's recording it, um, recording it nicely still. Um, oh, I like that. It feels really wonderful, like really smooth. Um, always use this finger, your ring finger, because it has the, the least amount of pressure to it. And I tell you, I am like, yeah, don't do this part right here. Like, what I'm doing. <laughs> I put a little bit too much on my finger. So, but yeah. Always use your ring finger when you're doing things around your eyes. Okay. Now, for the reveal. Drum roll, please. Ta da! See? Are they? They're so pretty. Um. Okay. So I don't know why it's coming up as blue looking on here. <laughs> That's weird. Um. It's black and white actually. Oh, maybe it's because of my shirt. Maybe that's why, but it's actually black and white. Um, now it could be it's just looking blue because I don't have my glasses on. So let me put my glasses on real quick. Oh, it's my nail color. Oh, cool. See? Now you can kind of see that it's black and white. The black and white one. Um, anyway, that's not important. Let's get started. Um, hmm trying to decide which colors I want to use. I'm thinking since I'm wearing blue, I'll put on like um some of the blue eyeshadow. Um maybe the darker blue. Maybe these two and then kind of add some um pizzazz to it. Um with the glitter. Okay, let's see how this looks. I haven't even tried it out beforehand on cam, I mean off camera, so hopefully this is gonna look great. One thing that I have learned, a lot of times if you use the dark, the darker shade on your lower eyelash, or not eyelash, but you know, the lower, um, lower upper lid, the lower part of your upper lid, uh, then, it looks better. So I'm gonna put that on there like so.
Now you can, okay. Now this part, I'm not gonna like, I know, that looks kind of weird. Um, but what I'm gonna do is go in and add some, some of the white to it. Um, so that that way, it kinda, kinda like when you, well, if you're a painter, if you like to paint, then um, you kinda will come in and shade it out and fade it out a little bit and even if it turns out completely wacky you can always take it off but just have fun with it um like i said this is may 12th fibromyalgia awareness day so like i said i decided i would do something to make myself feel better um and just kind of have fun Let me see how this is looking before I do the other eye. Mm, no, maybe not. Mm, where's my little... Take a little bit of it off right there. And then I'm going to add... Um, this one's called electric air this one right here I put this one on now we kind of put it all over our face didn't we kind of like a kid but hey makeup's supposed to be fun so y'all having fun hopefully you're having fun um what are y'all gonna do my my fibro sisters out there and I say sisters because fibromyalgia usually occurs in women more so than men even though it can occur with men um, so if I have any fibromyalgia brothers out there what are y'all doing to make yourselves feel better as well um, okay So I have my little MAC makeup remover wipes. Oh my goodness, these things smell so good. I love them. Um, and it works very well as well. But yeah, I put a little bit too much on, but like the lighting in this room is not the best. It's not the best at all for makeup. And I thought this light, maybe, let me see. Will this go lighter or brighter? Not lighter. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh well. That's what makeup wipes are for. Uh, yeah, I put it too far up on my eyelid. See, these work really well. I did this intentionally, actually. No, I did. Um, yeah. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put this. We're gonna we're gonna do this in the bathroom instead, cause like the lighting is just too crazy in here. Way too crazy. Way too crazy. Okay, now we're back in the bathroom. The lighting. It's a little bit better in here. Maybe a lot better. Let's just say a lot. Um, so what we're going to do is pick up where we left off. And... Okay, so I'm going to end it here. Um, I just added some black mascara, the MAC uh, mascara that I showed you, and used the, the other colors and then just brought my hair down. 
anyway um hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and to share it and stay safe everyone and i'll talk to you later bye